possible rematch? Well, I spoke with the IBF representative ringside, and I asked him that very question, because there was no winner, it was a no decision, do we get an automatic rematch? He kind of... Hesitated? He hesitated a bit and told me that, you know, it depends on their advisory board, they have to vote on it to see if an immediate rematch would happen. Common sense would say, because there's no winner in this fight, you're going to have to go ahead and run it back again. But there's no common sense in boxing. Well, I, well, let's let's check. You talked about the Cutman Ray, uh, and let's go. Jordan is with the Cutman Jim Moraine, who is uh, standing by in the corner of Canada Truax. Jordan, thank you, Chris. Jim, you're the Cutman for Truax. What, what were you feeling about the cut? Was it? Do you think you could have managed it? I could have managed it, but if he would have got hit anymore, it would have actually tore open a lot worse and could have done physical damage to his face. Besides that. So, but yeah, I could have kept it from bleeding. Do you feel like maybe it was the best decision then to, to stop this fight? Oh, absolutely. It would have just caused physical damage to his face. All right. Truex, for you, I know this was a big fight for you. It was an IBF title eliminator. It meant a lot in front of your hometown. How disappointed are you with this outcome? I'm very disappointed. You know, all the fans came out. Minneapolis is great. The armory is fantastic. And I wanted to put on a good fight. And unfortunately, it ended in the second round or whatever it was. But... You know, I want to say uh, to Kid Chocolate, you know, we're, we're rebels in the ring, which is my brother outside the ring, and, and uh, you know, maybe we'll see each other and do it again, but uh, I'm, I'm just disappointed that I couldn't continue. And how did you feel it was affecting you? Was it bothering you pretty bad, or did you feel like it was manageable? Uh, I mean, my right eye, I couldn't see out of my right eye, but my left eye was fine, so I could have fought one, uh, one eye, but uh, I don't know, it's up to the doc and up to Jim, so they stopped it. You wouldn't have been able to see those left hook come, hooks coming, probably. I have to keep my glove up, I guess. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sorry about the outcome. We'll see you soon. Well, ringside with Ray Mancini and Jamal Charlo, that's how bad it was. It, it was so, Ray, are you satisfied uh, since you heard the cut man say, I could have stopped it from bleeding, but it could have caused further damage? He agreed with the doctor's decision. No, I understand. I mean, it was a bad cut. There's no dispute. I just, look, you're trying to give it, trying to stop it, but then you give an opportunity. And if it